Here we're going to talk about simple interest. And if you look at the formula sheet that you're going that you have for the test, there is a formula called simple interest. And the formula states I equals P R T. And what this means is interest stands for I equals principal times rate times time. So the interest is the money that you're either earning or losing if you're borrowing. Principal, you can think about that as the amount invested or borrowed. Rate is the annual rate. Time has to be in years. So this is the most important thing to remember that time always has to be in years because that's going to be the trick of some of these questions. So if you're familiar with the idea of interest, if you've ever borrowed money, if you've taken a loan out for let's say $2,000, well when you pay it back you're going to pay more than $2,000 because you're paying interest. Same with a credit card. On the flip side, if you invest money, then if you earn interest, then you're going to get back more than you invested. So let's do a problem. So let's say you get $500 for your birthday. You put it in a checking account. that earns 2.7% annual interest. If you leave it in there, how much interest will you earn in 18 months? So you have $500 for your birthday, you put it in your checking account, which earns 2.7% annual interest. If you leave it in there, you don't touch it. How much interest are you going to earn in 18 months? So now we have all the elements of this formula. Interest is what we're trying to figure out, so I. Principal is how much we've invested or borrowed, that's 500. So 500 times our rate. Our rate is 2.7%. Now remember, you can't multiply percentages, you can only multiply decimals. So you have to change 2.7% into a decimal. If you don't know how to do that, watch the video on percentages on Facebook. So essentially, you're going to move this decimal point to the left two times, and you're going to end up with 0.027. We just moved it to the left twice. And then, times time. And remember, time has to be in years. Here they're giving us 18 months, not years. So how do you change 18 months into years? Well, the first thing you have to know is how many months are in a year, which is 12. And so anytime you're changing months into years, you just divide by 12. So you do 18 divided by 12. You can stick that in your calculator. And you're going to get 1.5. So you simply plug all this in your calculator. Your interest is 500 times 0.027 times 1.5 and the answer is going to come out to be twenty dollars and twenty five cents that's how much interest you're going to earn after that time period so the total amount of money that you'll have is the five hundred plus the interest so it'd be five hundred and twenty dollars and twenty five cents let's look at another problem suppose that you invest three thousand dollars for twenty four months at the end you earn ninety dollars in interest what was the annual interest rate. So here they're giving us interest, they're giving us principal, we don't know what the rate is, and they're giving us time. So we set the problem up the same way. Just plug in what you know. 
So interest was $90. We earned $90 in interest. That equals principal, which how much was invested? $3,000 times rate, which we don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out. Times time. Again, it has to be in years, not months. So how, how many years is 24 months? You do 24 divided by 12, which is 2. So now we have an algebra problem where we're trying to solve for r. That means we're going to get r on one side of the equation, the numbers on the other side of the equation. Well, we can multiply 3,000 times 2. So we have 90 equals 3,000 times 2 is 6,000 times r. We need to get r by itself. So we have r equals something. To get rid of this 6,000, since we're multiplying 6,000 times r, to get rid of it, the opposite of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide by 6,000. If we divide one side of the equation by 6,000, we have to divide the other side of the equation by 6,000. So we're going to go 90 divided by 6,000 equals 6,000 times r divided by 6,000. These two cancel out. 6,000 divided by 6,000 is just 1. So we get 90 divided by 6,000. You plug that into your calculator and you get 0 0.015 equals r. So now we know r equals 0 0.015. So, but that's not a percentage, that's a decimal. So to turn this into a percentage, we move the decimal point to the right two places. 1.5%. So our rate is 1.5%.